All right. I think it's time to admit I have an addiction. No. No, never. I'm not addicted to Solo Lethal Company. That'd be crazy. You know, weighing some positives and negatives here, I, uh, I don't have game audio. Positives, I don't have to hear creatures, so I'm not gonna get scared as much. Negatives, I can't hear creatures. Uh, is this Labyrinth? That's Labyrinth. Fuck that. It's main entrance time. Rainy Assurance really isn't that bad. It's re it really just adds, um, quicksand everywhere. You can avoid quicksand. Main entrance time. Yippee! If I get stormy anywhere, I kinda can't really sense lightning. <laughs> Since I don't have game audio, I'm kinda screwed. I'll avoid the lightning purely through vibe checks. Alright, watch this. This is gonna be a thumper right in here. Oh, well, that actually wasn't. Okay, that looks like Labyrinth. That's, uh, that's a little annoying. That is, in fact, Labyrinth. Um, maybe there's something good over here. There's a storage room with bottles and a large axle. Why? What's with all the two-handed items? <laughs> and there's nothing down here. Oh, the bottles are 52. I, I really don't think I have time to make three trips. I'll do two trips. And maybe if I have time, I'll go back for the axle. I mean, I know it's day one, but I really just don't want to risk getting sandwormed. Because that'll make me upsetty spaghetti. Sandworm is probably one of my least favorite creatures in this game. Because I know how to deal with it. It's very simple to deal with. When, you, when the ground gets a rumbly, run the opposite direction. But I still have yet to successfully actually do that. So that should speak to how effed up the sandworm is. I will say my lighting is really funny. I, I've been working on my lighting recently, and I've got the two lights on the side. I'm not going back to the large axle, by the way. I've got the two lights on the side for my green screen, but I have no front lighting. Which isn't that big a deal. It just means I need to be sure to lean back so my entire face is lit. It's made me consider going back to, um, having my webcam down there so I have a side profile instead of straight ahead. Because side profile would be way easier to light, whereas front I need both sides of me lit. Yeah, we are going to be so wealthy. Oh, wealth. It's also dark. I don't think anything will have spawned in here yet, right? It's only eight. It's very dark. Is that a loot room? <gasps> and there's definitely going to be lockers in here, right? Oh, there actually is. Hell yeah. Oh, thank God. A flashbang. I can use that for light. <laughs> oh, there's a junction box there. Oh, that might be worth tinkering with. Eh, you know what, probably not. Let's do some trips back and forth. Oh, that's uh, not good. Okay. Uh, let's go around this way. Let's do, um... Let's do a strategy that's not perfect, but it's the one I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna drop all of this stuff here. Then I'm gonna head back up and go get the other stuff by the door. One of my friends jumped up that cliff and jumped up there. I haven't successfully done that yet. <laughs> I have no clue how you would even begin to do that. It feels almost weird to be playing normal Lethal Company after playing Brutal Company. Because I, I honestly really do like Brutal Company. For those of you that don't know, you can check out my earlier videos on it. Uh, it's a mod that essentially turns the game into luck. <laughs> <laughs> but like somehow even more luck than it already is. And now we're just playing standard old, normal old, vanilla old Lethal Company. Um, we got a lot of money. I'll poke my head in the front door though. Might as well see what we got. If I had more health, I would go for those bees. I, well, maybe not. You usually only take like one hit of damage when you get bees, but also that one's pretty far away. I don't know if I'll have enough sprint. All right, let's head out of here. Good, good haul. Good haul, chat. It's a bit too dark to explore those other ways, but not bad all in all. What time do dogs spawn on assurance again? I feel like four or five. I think birds are three. Unless I'm thinking of offense. 
Um, there is a sandworm, but no dog. The lethal company strategy is kind of just spam assurance and then go to Titan. <laughs> I feel like assurance needs to be nerfed because it has... I, I, I want to say it has the least bad enemy spawns while also having the most loot. This is good? Oh, main entrance. Joy. You know what? We had a good first two days. I'm feeling good about this whole run. Let's just take our stuff and get out of here. Okay, we need to sell 130. We're only at Q2, so we shouldn't quite want to go to Titan. One twenty-two. Okay, need something cheap. Need something cheap. And now we buy a flashlight. Now that we're in a place where we're not in a hurry to get loot, I have a flashlight. This this could be my front lighting. Just wedge it there. Oh my God, it's blinding. <laughs> it it barely even helps. So for those of you that don't know, there's two major areas in this game. There's the loot rooms, which are like the ones with the railings, the, the grates, yada yada. And then there's the labyrinth, which are the big stone hallways. Um, the labyrinths are really not worth exploring ever. <laughs> but... If you have a flashlight, it's a lot easier to just look through them and try and find more loot rooms. Oh, I meant to sort my loot before I came here. Eh, it's fine, I'll do it later. If you want more info on how to do good in Solo Lethal Company, as of me recording this video, a YouTuber named Astral Spiff just put out a, what I assume is a really good video on Solo Lethal Company. I haven't watched it yet but I will be after I'm done recording this. He will probably have more to say on this than me because I think he's been playing it a lot more than me. <laughs> two keys over there. Am I willing to die for a key? No. I should have bought more than one flashlight because the idea behind getting more flashlights in solo is if it comes down to it, you can just leave it behind. Now then, let's organize some stuff. There we go. Okay, for the sake of simplicity, I have organized it into less than $50 and more than $50. This should hopefully make selling easier. This place is kinda empty. Is that Labyrinth? That's Labyrinth. Man, that's unlucky. <laughs> Hey, okay. homemade flashbang. That'll be helpful. Big bolt. That's money. Loot bug. That's a little concerning. Why is it just standing there? Hi there, sir. You want this? You can have it. You didn't want it. Oh, he wanted the bolt. That makes sense. This place sucks. Okay, that's its uh, that's its nest. Got it. So we want to not go over there. I'll keep the flashbang by it. Okay. okay. Axel. You know what? I'm just gonna leave before this devolves into something worse. This might be one of the worst moons I have ever experienced. <sighs> well, it's fine. One bad day doesn't mean anything. I probably should have grabbed that bolt before the loot bug got it, but to be fair, I thought, kind of thought he would like the flashbang. <laughs> this time we're going to go in the fire exit, it's going to be a loot room, and there's going to be so much money. So much. Like, two full handfuls of money. Well, it's not a loot room. <laughs> but we might be able to make this work. This place sucks really bad. 
I mean, I guess I did technically get two handfuls. <gasps> Yields. Locked door, labyrinth, labyrinth. Oh! And it's locked. There's not even anything over there. It's nothing. I saw through the door, there's nothing there. I said one bad day doesn't mean anything. Two might. <laughs> I'm just not realizing, I think I say two weird. Cause like, right now I'm saying two, two. But I feel like I normally say two. Two, 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 two. I don't know, man. I say a lot of words weird. I think I just say most simple words wrong. Which is kind of crazy because I feel like I can pronounce a lot of big words. Like just by looking at them and sounding them out. Like I can say pneumon, ultra, microscopicillical, volcanoconiosis for God's sake, but I can't say chat without the CH coming out weird. All right, well, let's go talk to the company. Should we just sell enough to go to Titan? I kind of want to. I don't think it's a good idea for longevity, but it's a pretty good content idea. Well, at the very least, it's not an eclipse, so that's good. <laughs> I'm sure Titan is a good place to not have game audio. It doesn't seem very necessary. Um, clown horn. Fire exit, okay. Um, good. I think. Wait, no, not good. Um, well, yeah, I guess pretty good. I kind of wish it was on the other side of the labyrinth, but I mean, it's fine. That's enough Titan for today. Pretty unfortunate fire exit, but also pretty fortunate because it meant we were able to get out of there faster. Well, now what's going on on Titan? Eclipsed, yay. We love Eclipsed Titan. Gotta be one of my favorite genders. Um, there's probably no dogs nearby. Oh, I got there was a dog nearby. Oh, he cheated, he teleported, that's not fair. He was using wall hacks. I call BS. Is it like stormy or what are we looking at here? Stormy, okay. That's not good, <laughs> especially with no game audio. I honestly can't decide if this is better or worse than Eclipse. I'm gonna say worse. Cause I'm really bad at dealing with Stormy. This would be a really bad time for a ghost girl. Cause I kinda need to be here. And so something forcing me to not be here is probably about the worst thing that can happen right now. Gift box. Oh, there's lots of stuff over here. None of it's very valuable, but at least the gift will be more than it says it is. That labyrinth, that labyrinth. Can't see shit. Wedding ring. Magic 8-Ball, hairbrush. Okay, that hairbrush is worth more. Is any of this metal? Yes, yes it is. I don't think either of these are metal. There's no way the Magic 7-Ball is metal. It would never betray me. <laughs> so I guess let's ignore the wedding ring for now. And head into the labyrinth. Or die trying. Because, I mean, if we just play it safe, we're not going to make it, is the thing. Oh, open door. Oh, this is this. Really? Well, that's not good. That's very not good. One item. Literally one. At this point, I'm just begging to get killed. And honestly, I kinda am. 
This run is dead. Please, anything. Literally anything. I can't see... I can see nothing. I, see, I can see even less now. Please, God, kill me. Where, where am I? Okay, there's a landmine. That'd be a pretty funny way to die. There's nothing. There's no enemies. There aren't enemies in this game. They didn't spawn any. Okay, well, I guess there's a bracken, apparently. Oh, there's a mimic also. Well, that's not what I want to die to. That's kind of cringe. Give me something cool. There's no items in here. I mean, I get the whole point of the labyrinth area is there's not a lot of items. But there's nothing. This leads to nothing. It's all dead ends. It's all dead ends. There's nothing. Well, there's the valve. There's no items. Hi, Bracken. Go away. This is back here? Really? There, there is literally just nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing! Just kill me, just kill me. 